I'm Mark Gaskill with Diamond Bogle Paint and Coatings, application technician for our tech services group based out of Orange City, Iowa. Today we're going to talk about viscosity and why we check viscosity. First off, viscosity is the thickness of the paint. Uh, there's a lot of things that can make that make the thickness of the paint vary. Uh, one being the temperature. That's why you always want to check it with a temp gun. And uh, you always want to check the material itself. The second thing that we'll use is a stopwatch and third, Zon cups. Uh, today we'll be using a number two Zon. The Zon cups range from number one to number five. The times on the Zon cups are good from 16 seconds to 60 seconds. So if you're reading something with a number two Zon cup, and it reads at 58 to 60 seconds number two. At that time, you would probably want to go to a number three Zon cup to get a little better reading on it. <clears throat> so to check your viscosity, you want to check your temperature, like I said before, 75 degrees. Take a number two Zon then, like we talked about, placing your finger in the ring, that way it's free floating. You want to put your cup in the material and you want to submerge it at an angle. If you go straight down, the air in the cup is going to create a splash and it's going to get all over your hand then at that time. So uh, move the cup around, get rid of any air bubbles, fill your cup, and once your cup crowns out of your material, that's when you want to hit start. And then at this time, when you stop it is when the stream will stop one inch below the cup. Okay, 22 seconds. Dump any excess out. Put in a cup of clean solvent. Then, uh, We'll chart product PG9237, new barrel, it's a new gallon, so we would circle yes. First shift, the initials, my initials are MG for Mark Gaskill. Today's date, the temperature, 75 degrees. The initial viscosity was 22 seconds. With that being said, if you need to change your viscosity over here in solvent added, you would add, you would write down how much you added and what you added up. And then obviously you would need to mix it again and what you changed it to at that point. So it's very important to always clean your viscosity cups. The cup itself, all of them hold the same volume of fluid. It's just the orifice size is a different size on each one. One being the smallest, five being the biggest. Uh, it is a machine orifice. So if you let material dry in your cup, don't use a drill bit or a, a, some kind of a scraper to try and clean it. Uh, if you can't get it out with solvent, then basically at that time, you need to get a new uh, viscosity cup. Um, these cups that I have are right at eight years old now, uh, so it is possible to keep them clean. Uh, you always want to keep protective end on them so that they don't get damaged. When reducing your coatings, it's always important to think about the temperature and the size of uh, the container that you're reducing. So keep in mind, if your temperature is cooler, your paint is gonna be thicker. So when you want to reduce that, odds are you're gonna use the gallon all at one time. So go ahead and reduce that to a sprayable viscosity. If you're reducing or if you're putting in place a drum of paint, uh, it's always best to let that warm up and get to room temperature or the temperature of your paint kitchen. That way you don't over reduce it and make it an unsprayable viscosity, meaning it would be too low. So keep in mind as the temperature goes up, the viscosity goes down. So you don't want to reduce a drum of product when it's cold and then it warms up and then it gets too thin. So uh, just a quick thought there. If you have any questions on viscosity, 
go ahead and give me a call or send me an email. Contact information will be at the end of the video or contact your local Diamond Vogel representative and any of us will be more than happy to help you out.